yes, vote yes, vote for independence. 246 years ago today, the Continental Congress said yes to independence and yes to creating an empire that, yes, has now lasted 246 years. Over the week to come, I'm going to break down for you because I consider on Alex Garrett Podcasting, July 4th being a Monday, it's Independence Week. I mean, uh, honoring those with disabilities who are independent. I mean, honoring this country who every day there is a fear we're becoming less independent. We have less rights. SCOTUS is weighing in on that. And and there is some truth to that. Okay? Supreme Court supposed to be a bastion of the freedoms that we celebrate on Monday, July 4th. But are they really? Okay, states' rights, another thing we celebrate on Monday. The state's ability to be deciding what they want, not the federal government. But when you see the bans from, like, very early on uh, and total ban on abortion, that's scary. That's not freeing, okay? I'm not exactly pro... I I am pro-life, but I also don't believe in restricting the total rights. That's not America. Women should have a total right, and that is something we should reiterate this Independence Day 2022. It goes beyond that, okay? Um, We can honor states' rights uh, as long as they're responsible with their rights. We can honor what the Declaration of Independence did, which was create a free nation. But we can also say we can get further. And really quick, there are a couple of things that I've been pondering about because I believe to exist 250 years in the making, four years from now, to exist beyond 2026, we must speak some things into non-existence. Right off the top, a second term for President Trump. We cannot speak that into existence a second time. We stubbornly, we and I certainly... Thought he was the breast at at it over Hillary. It's four years later. It's a mess. Even this White House is a mess. So can we also speak into non-existence a stumbling, bumbling, fumbling around legislation? Can we speak into existence a healthier democracy, Dr. Democracy, a healthier Washington and speak into non-existence? A unhealthy Washington. An unhealthy democracy. Hell, can we speak into non-existence? See, I did play on the word of speaking into existence. Let's speak into non-existence an unhealthy establishment, political field, politique, if you will, in Washington. That's going to hold us back <clears throat> after 250 years. But over the week, over the week, I will read what Sir... Baggett, yes. Do you know this name? Sir John Club Baggett. John Baggett Club. He was born in 1897, and he penned this treatise, or whatever you want to call it, manifesto, called The Fate of Empires and the Search for Survival. Over the next week, Independence Week, not just Independence Day, but Independence Day at week, I will talk about the search for survival that this country is going through right now. They're wondering, can we find a way to get rid of they being uh, some senators, some activists? Can we get rid of Gorsuch and Kavanaugh? Uh, they be, because they possibly, and I would say on the record, misled their hearings to the point where two senators are two in their crow now and say, oh, we were misled. Well, you should have done your research. So there you go, the search. For how we exist beyond 20, uh, 250, 2026. I hope to have Godfrey Harris on over the next week or so to talk about how we exist past 250 years. How we preserve the fabric that even far left wants to eradicate. Far right, far left, now the SCOTUS. There's nobody in the middle right now. And those in the middle are being shunned out. They're being deemed non-existent 
And you know how we know that? Because only the those with really out there views can be in politics now, it seems like. Not the middle of the rotors. They get shafted. They get sent down the river, if you will. So, let's not only speak things into existence, but at this point, let's speak things into non-existence. Let's hope that there is no crime in New York City as now you can carry it all in public square, in public places in New York State. That's scary too. What about even concealed? Why can't that be a thing? Because the bad guys still have the guns going around. People, A 20-year-old was shot in the back of the head. That's what we're going into Independence Day with. Actual restrictions on women's rights. Restrictions on gun rights. Yes. I'm not saying people age of 18 or 21 should have an AR-15. But you should at least be able to, if you're a common sense, uh, law-abiding citizen, be able to defend yourself in a public space like Times Square, Governor Kathy Hochul. That's all I'm saying. So there is restrictions of the rights that I believe the very founders of the Founding Fathers fought for. And now we must go into Independence Day dealing with the brunt of it, the aftermath of it. And we pray for no violence. We pray that women's uh, state of mind and physical being can persevere. And we, of course, with all this craziness, pray that our nation, yes, our nation, can survive not only year 246 and 247, but into year 2026, when we have the 250th celebration of America. Can we last beyond 250? Let's pray on it. Let's speak that into existence by praying some things don't exist into year 247. Ponder on that. Chew on that. I'm Alex Garrett, and today, July 2nd, 1776, the Founding Fathers, based on 1776, the musical, did this. Oh, yes, oh, yes, for independence. Happy Independence Day weekend. We will fight for our rights. Have a great night.